Here, will my right honourable friend confirm that as a result of this announcement today, the Scottish National Health Service will receive billions of extra pounds in funding? And does he share my astonishment, and I'm sure the astonishment of the people of Scotland, at the remarkable reaction of the SNP today, who it seems to be because they haven't asked for it, they don't want Scotland's NHS to get this extra funding? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I could, uh, brilliantly, brilliantly, and succinctly put, Mr. Speaker, do they want the money or not? Do the people of Scotland want the investment in their in their healthcare and social care or not? There's more money coming for Scotland, Mr. Speaker. Let's hope they spend it wisely. Let's be clear: Scottish taxpayers are being asked to bail out England's failing social care system, a mess created by the UK government opposite. So, can I ask the? Can I ask the Prime Minister, in all good sincerity, does he believe that his new poll tax will help or hinder the cause of Scottish independence? Good, good luck with that one, Mr Speaker, that's all I can say to him, because uh, what uh, the people of Scotland are getting, what the people of Scotland uh, and the whole of the UK are getting uh, is uh, £2.2 billion more across the, uh, the, uh, the whole of the DAs and a £300 million union dividend. A £300 million union. And if they don't want to spend it, if they don't want to spend it on health and social care, Mr Speaker, they don't want to spend it at all, uh, then, then why don't he, if, he, if, he's, if he's handing this money back, Mr Speaker, uh, then let's hear it uh, from the the Scottish Nationalist Party. Do they want it or don't they?